Said I left the Jedi. Well, technically, I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the Order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. You know what I hate? Well, you know, lots of things, really, but I'm old and easily annoyed, but that's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. <laughs> I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes act. No doubt you've been on the receiving end of Jedi justice at least once, eh? And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. No, no, the Jedi always treated me well. It would be foolish and untrue to say otherwise. That's not what I meant anyway. Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, dammit. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortaf, I think. Or was it Hortoff? I can never get it straight. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortaf. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Hordeth. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally. He asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went off to something else, we'll, we'll never know. Both of them were from before my time. Well before the Sith Wars, even. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Got something on... Up. Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. 
Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the exchange, didn't it? Coraban's nice and remote. The kind of place the exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling's what the hawk was made for, though. Oh, nobody's special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the hawk here all the time. You sure can. Not much. It's a pretty barren planet, to tell the truth. Not of much interest to anyone. Unless you're a Sith, I guess. They seem to think this place is something special. Probably all them ruins they found on the surface. That's the reason they built their academy here, I guess. To dig all them ruins up. There's people that come here from all over Sith space to try and join the academy. Most of them die, I hear. Pretty gruesome business, that. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess, but that's all closely monitored. Yep. What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want... I'll understand if we can't look. Yeah, what do you want? Korriban is a Sith wood. Rumor has it that the leader of our... You have anything... Your... Go about your business, please, citizen. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king kunjo peshak, no ba mulira ji, joni yun turung chi, we eat a dear, bola una chinek, ba mulira slimo anga kun biskin. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. There's a lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? 
Of course, Shaldan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarja! It's you a penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. You, Jedi! You're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Please help us! Silence! Of course I can kill them. The Sith can do whatever they like on Korriban, and frankly, these worms rather deserve it. That's for you to decide, however. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? I suppose not, but you're as boring as they are. Fine, fine, go on, all of you. Hopefully you've learned something here. Karth, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I'll let you tell yourself what you so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. Put you up, Enki. Nikabo dupaka! Just crunky to pats nemo. Chiwi aita ka chonchi. Kakin cha na wabaka. Jiska no soki. Kopa bono nakachu. Labor chiwi aita baba hasan. Just crunky to pats nemo. Chi. Kakin. Well, there isn't much to do in Dresht. Yeah, the Zerka Canteen is the only place to go. <sighs> I can't wait to get back to the... Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. 
I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho! Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Oh, I see. But we'll just have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> it looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. I'll deal with you later. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Edith. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. Ah, uh, well, what can you... We do some mining here, and our, our starboard is mostly just freighter. This office is actually our administrative. If you're in need of it, you certainly can. I suppose you've heard about the... Certainly. There truly isn't much... The only thing that's really unusual... A star map? Well, the Sith have some old root. Not much. The Sith, but no one really knows if that's... Zerka sends freighters. The men are not allowed out of their ship. Do come... Go about your business, please, citizen. Uh-huh. What? Yeah, what do you want? You're... What do you need? Talk about... I'll understand. Yeah. 